at and by. So this live lesson is going to be a great live lesson for beginners. If you are a beginner, this is a great one for you. You can get your notebook, take some notes. If you are not a beginner, I hope this is a good refresher for you. So you can remember some things you have not practiced in quite a while. So as you join, please, please, please make sure to hit the like button and of course share this video so that other people can find today's lesson. That would be super Super cool. While we wait for people to join us live, I have two very fast announcements. First, vocabulary study tip. So, our team has created a new ebook recently. It is this banner right here, your free 2,000 words ebook. This ebook is made of the 2,000 most commonly used words in English. So, that's called the core words. So, English core words means the words that you need to be fluent, right, for daily conversation. So our team has created a free ebook with these 2,000 words. So if you click the link below the video, if you're watching on YouTube or above the video to the side of the video, if you're watching on Facebook, you will find this page. And you can, if you have a free account, download the 2,000 core words ebook here. If you do not have an account, no problem, you can make an account for free at EnglishClass101.com. You just need your name and your email address and then you're finished. So download this. If you want to get your vocabulary practice going more efficiently, this is a great tool to do that. So you can make sure you study the most important words first, right? So this is a great tool to use for your vocabulary study. So go download that. Okay, announcement number two. If you have questions for me that are different from today's lesson topic, send them not in the live stream chat, not in an Instagram DM, not well, Facebook comments, I don't know. There are too many comments <laughs> on, on all of our platforms. So please send me your questions to the official Ask Alicia question submission page, and I will maybe choose your question to include in our weekly video. So this is a very, very old screenshot. But I choose your actual questions, and I answer them, I hope, and I include them in these videos each week. So if you have a question, like you're watching a movie, or you see something in a news article that's confusing, whatever, send it to me. We can talk about it. But make sure you search the channel first because maybe I've already answered your question. Like if it's a preposition question, I have like 50 videos <laughs> about that. So do yourself a favor and see if I answered your question already. Okay, that's all for my announcements. I think everything is rolling. Okay, yeah, team? All right. YouTube, what's up, YouTube? Hello, Natalie and Pablo Tamalita. I am from Wonderland. Okay. Oh, I remember you. You have weird comments, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I remember. Lucas, what's up? Uh, let's see. Moji, hey. Um, hi, everybody. Facebook, are you here? Hey, Facebook. Howdy. Facebook. Yeah, good. Okay. Israel, hi. Jezu, what's up? Rosa, Juan, hey. Good. Okay. Everybody is here. I'm going to like the video now and share it. Okay. Awesome. So let's begin. As I said, Today's video, today's live lesson is about explaining time. So we are going to focus today on these three prepositions, these three tiny, tiny words that are very, very important, okay? So they can change the meaning of a sentence uh, and people go, are they really, is it really that important? Yeah, <laughs> they are, so let's practice them, okay? So let's begin with the first part for today. The first preposition we're going to look at is the preposition in, time expressions with in, okay? Let's get into it. So when do we use in when we are talking about time? So we use in to express the time until an action happens or a condition is true, okay? You might think like, what does that mean? I'll show you some examples in just a moment, okay? So when we use the preposition in, we use in plus a length of time. This is important, okay? Length of time goes here. 
So let's look at some example sentences and then we'll break down what's happening. Mm, okay, so first one. I'll be at the office in 15 minutes. I'll be at the office in 15 minutes. Okay, so what is happening here? Here we have this in, first of all, our uh, in, a preposition, and then we have 15 minutes. So this is a length of time, right? This is how long the time period is, right? And then here is the action or condition. I will be, so this is the reduced form of I, uh, I will, right? I will be at the office in 15 minutes, right? So if now it's 12.30 and I say this, that means at 12.45, I will be at the office. So in 15 minutes. So at the end of that 15 minutes, I will be at the office, okay? So this expresses when that thing or the time, the future time, the action is going to happen, yeah? After a length of time. Okay, this is very important too, a length of time. We cannot say, I'll be at the office in three o'clock. Nope, can't do that. That's stay for part two, okay? So we cannot use a different um, preposition here with this length of time. And we cannot say a time point here, okay? So you can send your examples and I will try to check them live, okay? For now, let's continue. Second example sentence. She's going to launch the company in three months. She's going to launch the company in three months. Okay, so launch means like start, kick off, right? Okay, so she's going to launch the company in, here's my preposition, in, and here I have three months. Three months, here's my length of time, yeah? So this months shows me the period until this happens, going to launch the company, so future tense sentence, yeah? Okay, so again, we have to use this time, uh, this length of time. Important point, I notice many learners forget this S at the end, three months or 15 minutes. Make sure it's a plural. When you have a countable noun like minute or month, make sure you have that S at the end. All right, let's go to the last example and then I will come to the chat for your examples. So here I have it at the beginning, yeah? In three years, I'll have enough money to buy a house. In three years, I'll have enough money to buy a house. So here in three years, so in this length of time, so after three years, right? I will have enough money. So in the future, in three years, three years from now, my condition will be enough money, right, to buy a house, okay? So we use in to talk about this time until that thing happens or until the condition is true, okay? All right, I'm going to come and check your example sentences. Now, Gospel said I'm going to school in the morning. Great. Yeah. Okay. In the, uh, yeah, I didn't talk about this today, but in uh, the morning, in the afternoon and in the evening, we also use that to talk about it. Okay. Uh, Gustavo, one of our members, hey, says I'll get a pizza in 30 minutes. Great. Nice. Okay. Uh, Patrick wrote, I'm going to have lunch in 15 minutes. Nice. Perfect. So in 15 minutes. Great. Uh, Marlene wrote, I'm arriving in 30 minutes. Perfect. Nice job, Marlene. Obeid wrote, I work in Walmart. Oh, past tense maybe, or I'm not sure. I have worked in Walmart for three months, or I worked in Walmart. Do you work at Walmart now? I have worked, yeah? If you do not, no longer, I worked at Walmart for three months, okay? You use the uh, location in, I work in, yeah? Okay. Um, others, I'm looking for examples within, and uh, let's see, well, hello to everyone saying hello. The Black Eagle wrote, they'll play the final soccer match in one month. Nice. Okay. Uh, Michaela Velasco wrote, I'm going to sleep in 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, David wrote, I will go to bed. Uh, was it I will? Just I'll? Yeah. I'll go to bed in 10 minutes. Okay. And Ninad wrote, I'll be at the office in 30 minutes. Good. 
Facebook, what you got, Facebook? Hello, everyone. Uh, examples, there's one. Rosa, I'll be right back in two hours. You don't need to put right back in two hours. Also, right back sounds like very quick. Two hours is not right back, <laughs> generally. I'll be right back. Leave, finish, finish the sentence there. Means I'm coming back in a few minutes, yeah? So, I'll be back in two hours. Sounds better there. Juan, I will be at the university in 30 minutes. Nice ones. Okay, sounds good. In sounds good to me. Let's take a break and then let's go into part two. We're going to change the preposition. How exciting. <laughs> so uh, if you missed it really, really quickly, our team has created recently a 2000 word ebook that is free. So I talked about this earlier, but if you want to get this 2000 word ebook, these are the 2000 most commonly used words in English. You can download this from EnglishClass101.com for free. You need your name and an email address only. You can find this from the link below the video if you're watching this on YouTube or above the video if you're watching on Facebook. So this ebook gives you the most common words so you can study vocabulary efficiently, right? You study the words that are the most important words first, yeah? So check this out. I hope it helps you with your vocabulary studies, okay? All right, let's continue to part two, new preposition. If you have not, please make sure to like and share the video because it helps other people to find the lesson, yeah? Okay, let's continue to part two, time expressions with at. Okay, at is our second preposition for the day. When do we use this guy? We use at to express the point when an action happens. So, point, the point. So, when we use the preposition at, we use it before the time. So, we do not use it before a length of time, like within, we said 15 minutes or three months, right? With at, we use 2 p.m., 3.30, whatever, right? We use at plus the time. We use this a lot to talk about our schedule. So let's look at some examples. Our plane lands at 12.15. Our plane lands at 12.15. So here we have at plus our time, 12.15, right? We could say at quarter past 12 as well if we want to. So also note our plain lands. So here's a simple, this is a present tense sentence, right? Our plain lands. So a quick reminder, uh, we use present tense to talk about schedules, bus schedules, train schedules, plane schedules, right? So sometimes I see learners write something like, uh, our plane is landing. I suppose that's okay in this case, but we use this to talk present tense to talk about schedules a lot. So you will often see present tense used to talk about these kinds of things. Okay, our plane lands at 12:15. Okay, let's continue to the second example. The restaurant reservation is at 7 p.m. The restaurant reservation is at 7 p.m. So here's my at at plus my time, 7 p.m., 7 at night. So again, this expresses the point when an action happens or when something is true, the restaurant reservation, right? So this is the uh, scheduled item, the activity we have. We use at 7 p.m., not in, not on, I don't know, at 7 p.m., okay? And finally, is the meeting at 3 or 3.30? Is the meeting at 3 or 3.30? You could use at again here if you want to, but we know that it's a time. We can use this at for this and for this. It's easy to see. So you could say, is the meeting at 3 or at 3.30? That's okay too. But for efficiency, we can use it just once, okay? So again, we have this before the time, 3 or 3.30, okay? So the key here is with at, we use it with a time, in, we use with a length of time, a duration here, okay? Let's take a look at your examples. Let's see, I'll come to YouTube first. Someone sent, why is someone sending a bunch, oh, I thought those were snails, it's an emoji. <laughs> it's not, <laughs> ah, I couldn't see, uh, it's very bright here. Okay, um, let's see, I'm looking for time, 
uses of at. Some of you are sending location, location uses, different from today's lesson, yeah? Uh, Michaela wrote, English classes are 8 a.m. with Alicia. Perfect, very nice one. Um, Obaid wrote, the soccer end at 7.45. So so the soccer, maybe the soccer match or the soccer practice, I'm not sure. Ends, same as lands, yeah? To end in present tense is ends, it ends, class ends, practice ends, the match ends at 7.45, yeah? Then it's perfect. Um, Natalie wrote, we start our lunch meeting at 1 p.m. Nice, okay. Um, Max wrote, the concert will start at 16.15. Nice, uh, 4.15, okay. Um, Nina wrote, my friend was going to come at 7 p.m. Perfect. Miguel wrote, I'll have an English class at 10 p.m. I would say I have an English class. I have an English class at 10 p.m. Like, it sounds like a fact, right? Instead of I will, which we use for, like, decisions we make. Maybe, maybe you're choosing now. Like, I'll have an English class at 10 p.m. <laughs> maybe it's like an online menu. I don't know. Usually we say I have. I have. Okay, uh, Gustavo wrote, my dentist appointment is at 4 p.m., okay? Facebook, I didn't forget about you. Facebook, do you have any examples? Rosa said, the Kentucky Fried Chicken arrives. Okay, so I've seen a few of you miss this S, yeah? Present tense, S. Rosa, that's one for you. Someone, I mentioned it earlier, Obaid, I think it was, on YouTube. Don't forget your S, yeah? Uh, Salman wrote, the game will start at 5 p.m. Nice, okay. Tyson said, she said she is, she's going to meet at a place she chose in at 5 p.m. You have two prepositions. Which do you think is correct? You have in and at next to each other there. You can send your example again, Tyson. Um, Glenda, your English class starts at 9 p.m. Glenda, you have the same S problem. It starts, your English class starts. So some of you, after this lesson, your homework is to search my present tense lessons <laughs> on YouTube, yeah? Starts, right? Starts, okay? Uh, Lita, my cousin is what at 10 a.m.? My cousin, so you have no verb there, yeah? My cousin is what at 10 a.m., okay? My cousin is going to arrive, all right? What do you do? Uh, Ellie, I have a meeting, right? M-E-E-T, right? At 4 a.m., that's early. <laughs> meeting at 4 a.m., yeah? Uh, Juan says, I always go to work at 6 a.m. Good. Uh, Augustin, the P-L-A, oh, what does that mean? Plow? I, I'm not sure what that means, but maybe that's okay. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, grammar is correct. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. Maybe the play will start at 4 p.m.? Not sure. Back to YouTube. Um, Tolik, how do we use at on in for location? I have so many videos about this topic. Use your search skills on the YouTube channel. You are watching me on YouTube. Take your amazing eyeballs to the search bar at the top of the page and put at on in location right there. Got a bunch of videos. Okay, uh, let's see, other issues. Um, okay, the one big one I see for many of you, I saw for three of you, for sure, maybe more of you, don't forget your S for, for your present tense sentences, yeah? The plane lands, class starts, uh, practice ends, uh, the movie begins, right? Don't forget that little S there. I saw that a few times. Okay, let's finish there because we have one more preposition to talk about. Meaning was good. Everybody got the meaning good, but we need to review a different grammar point, I think. Okay. All right, let's take another very quick break. You can write your notes in your notebook while I do this. <laughs> if you forgot, or if you have not seen it recently, our team has a new 2000 word ebook. This is a vocabulary study tool. So our team has created this ebook to make sure you study the most commonly used words first. So before you study something that's not very often used, or to make sure, basically, you are most efficient in your studies, our team created this. So, if you want to get this, you can get it for free at EnglishClass101.com. The link is in the YouTube description or in the Facebook box, which is maybe here or maybe here, depending on how you're watching on Facebook. You need your name and an email address, and that's it. So go crazy! Get this, you can download this, and study everything, and get the most common words to help you get fluent faster. 
All right, let's go. So let's go to the last preposition today. If you have not, please make sure hit the like button yeah, and share this video so that others can find this life-changing preposition information <laughs> never before seen on the internet. Okay, <laughs> let's go to part three. Time expressions with by. Okay, we're gonna talk about by. If you want to know about the difference between by and until, I am not going to talk about this today. I have a big lesson about the difference between by and until on the English Class 101 YouTube channel. So please enjoy that after today's live stream. Let's talk about by only. So we use by for the end point or deadline for an action or a condition, okay? So the end point, the last point, okay? So when we use this, we use by plus the point in time, okay? So we're going to look at some examples and then if we have time, I will give you the visual. Let's go. So let's look at our example sentences. You can send your examples, but be very careful. This is the hardest one for today. Okay, the one I see the most mistakes on. So maybe watch the examples first, okay? First example, please finish the report by tomorrow. Please finish the report by tomorrow. This means tomorrow is the deadline for this, okay? So by tomorrow means if you finish the report tonight, great. If you finish the report in the morning, great, okay? By tomorrow, tomorrow is the last point for the report, okay? So please finish the report by tomorrow. So tomorrow is our point in time, yeah, tomorrow. Or two days from now, or three days from now, right? Okay, let's look at the second example. I'll be there by five o'clock. I'll be there by five o'clock. This sentence means Five o'clock is the last point, or the last point in time, the deadline for me to arrive, right? So maybe I will be there at 4.30. Maybe I'll be there at 4.40, 4.45, 4.50, right? But five o'clock is the deadline. That's the last point at which I will arrive. So you can use this if you are not sure, like, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Okay, by five o'clock, I'll be there. This is how we use this by, or this is the idea here, okay? Last example, she'll be home by eight. <clears throat> she'll be home by eight. So again, this expresses a deadline. Maybe now it's six, okay? She'll be home by eight. So again, expresses the last point that we can expect, right? Or the last point for that action, okay? So before eight, also okay. We can come before, or she can come home before eight, fine. Eight o'clock is the last point. So one other question sometimes learners have, is like, can I say I'll be there at five o'clock or I'll be there at eight? Yes, those are grammatically correct sentences. By communicates also before five o'clock or also before eight o'clock is possible, right? So by is really helpful to show a deadline for something. At marks the schedule point, right? This is the time something will happen. By shows also the time before, but not after, okay? This is how we use by and at differently, okay? All right, I'm coming for your examples and your questions. I think I answered one already. Um, Ninad wrote, the video is going to be ready by uh, today evening. We would, today evening, you could just say tonight, right? Tonight, that sounds more natural. The video is going to be ready by tonight, okay? Uh, Afghan wrote, I will be in Kabul by 2 p.m. Perfect, okay? Obaid wrote, I will finish my homework by tomorrow. Nice. Um, Michaela, I'll, he, he, I'll, he'll, he'll, he'll. Which one? <laughs> All right. I'll maybe be in, don't forget. Uh, oh, I don't have on this one. Be in the office by 10. Okay. And uh, Jonathan wrote, can I say she'll be home by 8.30 a.m.? Yes, that sounds fine to me. Um, Max, the work, it is going to be finished by tomorrow. Just say the work is going to be finished. Yeah, you don't need to say the work it is. 
right? You already have your subject, the work, right? So if you say the work, it is. You're, it's like the work and it are the same thing, right? So get rid of it, yeah? The work is going to be finished by tomorrow. Ah, uh, Gustavo wrote, I have to find a birthday present by November. Swap those, birthday present by November. Uh, I can't read your name, I don't read the script, but I will buy a Mercedes by the summer. Okay, good luck. <laughs> good luck to you. Uh, Facebook, do you have some examples? Um, let's see. Uh, 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 Rosa said, please finish the homework by tomorrow. Okay. Uh, July wrote, they will be at the playground by evening. Okay. Um, Ellie wrote, I will finish the work by 15 minutes. So I'll finish the work in 15 minutes. If you want to talk about like, um, something that you're imagining to do, like I will be, I will be, I will be finished with the work within 15 minutes, or I will finish the work in 15 minutes. We would use in for that one. Yeah. So that one we would use in for, I'll finish the work in 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay. So I would say for those kinds of short periods of time, like it sounds a little more natural to use that in to show I might do it before 15 minutes, but because it's such a short period of time, I think it's more natural to use that. I will finish it in, or you could say within 15 minutes. That's a good choice. Okay. And all right. I have to finish. Oh my gosh, time went so fast. So this is a quick introduction to using by and at and in for today. But as I mentioned, I have a lot of videos on these topics. Uh, so you can use the search bar. If you're watching on YouTube, there's a search bar that you can type by at in, you can type preposition. You can use that search bar to find lots of my videos from the last many, many years to practice these points in more detail. So I recommend you do that if you have some more questions, okay? But I have to finish for today's time. So let's finish up. Let's see, next week's lesson information. Uh, where'd you go? Okay, here it is. So I'll be back next week. Of course, we are going to talk about a different topic next week though. So please join me next week, Wednesday, October 18th at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is New York City time. If you don't know your local time, please Google it or set a notification on YouTube or on Facebook so you don't miss the session. Next week, I'm going to talk about fixing errors and mistake expressions. So like, how do you say like, maybe some of you know, like, oops, or uh oh, or those kinds of things, but just more of that. So we're going to talk about how to fix these kinds of things and express when we have made a mistake, because it's important, right? Hate to make mistakes, but it happens to the best of us. So please join me again next week for that. Again, if you want more preposition practice, go crazy on my past videos. I have so many for location and for time. So please enjoy that. Okay. Uh, that's it. That's all for me. Don't forget your free 2000 words ebook that our team has made recently. This is, yeah, this is fresh. This is fresh off the fresh out of the oven. So <laughs> please go and enjoy this. This is a great vocabulary study tool. So you can make sure you study the most important words first, right? Use your time in the best way. All right. That's it for me. You can come and find me on Instagram after this. Uh, and you can come and find our team at English Class 101. And I hope you have a great day and a great evening, a great weekend, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you.